makeup tutorial which is basically like an, a bold spring kind of makeup with an attempt of a half cut crease I don't know if I did very well to me I'm really proud of myself because I managed to do my lashes and my liner so yeah so if you wanted to see how I've created this look then carry on watching so to primer my face I'm using the Revolution Ultra Face Base Primer which is like a silicone primer and it actually feels really nice on the skin I then use my collection Lasting Perfection Green Concealer on all the redness part on my skin, which is pretty much the whole of my face. And I'm just going to use my normal beauty blender for this, because I don't have a primer brush or anything. So for foundation I'm going to use my L'Oreal True Match and now I get to use a brush out of the first brush set which is the base set so now I've got to try and open this. So this is a square foundation brush and I used, to, I used to use brushes to do my foundation but now I use a beauty blender and now I don't think this is going to be as good. I don't know why, is that good, is that bad that I think that? I think I'm probably going to stick with using my beauty blender because you can see the like the streaks from the brush on my face and I feel like it hasn't given me as much coverage because I've put the same amount of green concealer on to what I usually do and I look really green and I don't know why so I don't know if that's got anything to do with the beauty blender or is it just me in general being fussy or I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but in in the mirror it looks like I look like an alien. So I'm going to quickly see if mattifying my face makes a difference. So I'm going to use the buffing brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to mattify my face and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. I don't look as green now, thankfully, but I feel like it's picked up a lot of the foundation on the right side of my cheek because now it looks really red or it's probably just how I'm using the brush. Overall, I like this brush, this brush is really big so it's a lot easier to use. I, I'm definitely going to stick with, I'm definitely going to stick with beauty blenders, not brushes. <laughs> because they're just like, they leave the streaks on your face and it just doesn't look right. So now I'm going to do my eyeshadow, which is the part I was excited for the most, to be honest. <clears throat> right, because it's spring, I want to go for more of a pinky kind of, probably not light pink for me, when I say pink, I mean like dark pink all over. So first of all, I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Collection Prime and Ready Primer. Okay, I'm going to use my favourite shade in the whole palette, 
which is strawberry fit no strawberry sweets which is basically just a pink shade <laughs> and put that all in my crease this brush is already already so much easier than my other brushes i love this brush already I feel like because it's a smaller brush you have a lot more control and the colour's actually coming off of it as well. It doesn't stay on the brush like my other brushes did. I want to put a lot of colour on because I want this to be really like... Boof. <laughs> uh, what else do I want to do for this? I think I want to bring it in a little bit to the side. So like there-ish maybe. But halfway in. His works. <laughs> Looks very bold at the moment, but I think it might work. I want to use this detailer brush and cut my crease with it. I don't know if this is going to work. This is just what I planned. <laughs> I'm going to use my collection one. I'm going to see if I can cut my crease with this brush, because then if I can, then it is going to work how I wanted it to work. Okay. See if this works. And then I'm going to use uh, what brush am I going to use? Probably this one. Yeah, I'm going to use the shading brush and pick up the gold in the sofa palette and pack that on top. And I mean pack it on top. That's pretty good. <laughs> People like that probably think it that looks rubbish, but to me it looks pretty good. Yeah, so it's quite like a bold, out there kind of gold, if that makes sense. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> I'm very happy with that. I'm going to quickly go off camera and do it on the other side as well. Now that went a lot better than I expected actually. <laughs> I'm pretty damn proud of this right now. It probably doesn't look as good on camera for some reason but it's like a goal. I think once you add like the eyeliner, the lashes and yes I have learnt how to do eyeliner and lashes. Let's just take a moment because <laughs> I remember saying that I, could, I, could, I would never be able to do it. But I finally learnt how to do it. So I'm going to quickly go off camera and do my eyeliner and my lashes, so I will be back in a second. Thought I'd zoom in on the eyes a little bit for you. So this is the eyes. I am super proud of myself right now because I managed to put the lashes on. Because this is the first time I'm wearing these ones. So I'm going to quickly go through what I've actually put on off camera if that makes sense. So for mascara I used my L'Oreal Paris Mega Volume Waterproof Miss Baby Roll Miss Miss Baby Roll mascara and then I put on the GWA lashes in not what kind of like the style fantasy I do really want to get a load more of these because I've got this one these ones mythical which are like my favorite ones at the moment because <laughs> they're like so bold but I wanted to use these ones for now and then what else did I put something else on oh yeah and the eyeliner I used was the collection waterproof um, eyeliner so now let's go with the rest of the face <laughs> pretty much back to what i said earlier i'm actually so happy with how this went <laughs> like now whenever i do my makeup i feel like my makeup looks really boring without lashes <laughs> so so next i'm going to do highlighter and for that i'm actually going to use the contour brush purely because I don't do contour and the highlighter brush I do use it's not that good if that makes sense so I normally use just like this flat one but it's a bit busted so where is it where is the brush oh, it's here. so for this contour I'm going to use highlight and for highlight I'm going to use I'm using two highlights I think I'm going to use one I think I'm probably going to go for just the one because I can't be bothered. I don't really want to use the liquid one on here at the moment. So, using my Soph X 
highlighter palette and I'm going to use the what one do I want to use for this? Probably just the white one, It'd be easier. Oh there's a lot of stuff on that. I like it. Let's see what it looks like on my face. I love it. It is such a gorgeous shade. I love it. So there's my highlight on one side and that side. I thought it was the other side for a second. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So there's one side. I feel like my cheeks are really, I think I'm getting really hot, that's why I've gone so red. And then on my nose. So I look a little bit like Rudolph. And then Macupitbo. I love that I have I love highlighting my nose. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like my favourite part to do for some reason. So now I'm going to do you know what? I don't even think I need blush. <laughs> I'm not even going to try and do blush because otherwise I'm going to look like a clown. But when I do do my blush, I use the Nip and Fab blush. And I normally use four of them, although sometimes I just use one of them. It depends what kind of like, depends what kind of makeup look I've, I've done really. For lips, I'm going again for the pink because it's spring. And I'm using the NYX Soft matte lip cream in the shade I can't remember what it's called Sydney and oh my god this shade is beautiful I love it so much <laughs> oh and also do excuse my chapped lips it's because it's like really cold and I get really dry skin on my lips and then it like peels off and it really hurts <laughs> Okay, that went a lot better than I thought it would. So that was the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this and it actually went a lot better than I expected. So if you enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up and hit the big red subscribe button down below for more. And comment in the comments in future videos that you'd like to see. Or if you'd like to see more makeup tutorials or testing products kind of thing. And I'll see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye. Got the power.